I'm Mike Elliott and you're watching CEO Live TV. Today we're joined by Mr. Meet Drawer. He's the CEO and co-founder at Nano Dimension, which trades on the NASDAQ under ticker NNDM. Nano has created a 3D printer dedicated to printing multi-layer printed circuit boards, or PCBs, called the Dragonfly 2020 that will benefit engineers and companies looking to rapidly test their circuit board designs. Good morning, Meet. It's great to have you back on the show. Good morning, Mark. It's great to be here. So there have been several highly positive developments at Nano Dimensions since we last spoke earlier this summer. So I'm going to go down the list one by one, starting with the first U.S. sale of the Dragonfly 2020 3D printer. Tell us about that sale and how it will help lay the groundwork for future sales in the U.S. Well, like it's it's definitely an exciting time for Nano Dimension. You know, after two years of development, we've just entered into the delivery phase. In the last few weeks, we've delivered the first two printers, actually, to customers. The first printer was delivered to a large defense company, and the second Dragonfly printer was delivered to Fathom, our partner and distributor from Oakland. And that will help us presenting the printer to potential customers in the Silicon Valley area. The other dimension identified the Silicon Valley as a key geographical market where the most innovative companies in the world can become the early adopters of our unique 3D printing solution for printed circuit boards. And I mean, what can you tell us about Nano's use of 3D printing uh, to add conductive properties to fabric? And what are some of the possible applications for that? That was also a, a recent announcement. Right. Nano Dimension conducted a successful test in collaboration with a leading European company. The purpose of the test was 3D printing of conductive traces onto a treated fabric. The test was carried out using Nano Dimension's unique AG Site Silver Nano Conductive Ink using the Dragonfly 3D printer platform. Based on the requirement of the European company, Nano Dimension adjusted the printing process in order to print electronics and sensors as an integral part of the fabric. The result demonstrated that the printed silver conductors had high enough elasticity and conductivity to match the properties of the fabric. This shows that we can create smart, functional fabrics without limitations resulting from motion, folding, and, and wearing. Now, today, the functional textile industry is facing a, cha a challenge. Uh, how to produce smart textiles that combine production process of both the electronics and textile fields. The 3D printing production processes and nanomaterials developed by Nano Dimension have the potential to resolve this challenge and help to create an efficient production technology for small textile. Now, like, did you know that the small textile market today is estimated at $800 million and is expected to reach $4.7 billion by 2020. You know, that's a yearly CAGR of more than 33%. No, I, and I, I didn't know that. And I also want to point out before we go to the next question that um, this lines up well with a really robust uh, research and development strategy that Nano has. I mean, you've uh, done the proof of concept for printing uh, human tissue with uh, stem cells. You've got a partner there in Israel and done that proof of concept. And now this foray into printed fabric. So even though your mainline business, which is the um, fast prototyping for PCBs with the Dragonfly 2020 is proceeding and sales are proceeding, that at the same time, you have this very active research and development program in the background uh, that's constantly innovative, new, uh, innovating new applications for your 3D printing technology and ink. So I think that's that's a really exciting aspect of the company. I just want to make sure I, I point it out. Um, and you also announced that Nano will be opening a new ink production facility. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's correct. I'd just like to make a comment on what you said before. Mm -hmm. There is one important major task to get the Dragonfly out there. We just started sales and we're going to increase that over the next quarters, you know, as we enter this commercial phase. And that's really where the money comes. But you got to make sure being a leader in the field of 3D printing, that we maintain the innovative approach. In order to maintain the leadership, we gotta stay out there and, and to be on the edge of doing things. And it's definitely part of our strategy. 
Now, to your question about the ink facility, so, you know, the company will open a production facility for the unique nano ink products, right? Um, we just leased another floor that covers an area of approximately 8,600 square feet. This production facility will support our customers' demand for ink, and, you know, they use the Dragonfly printer. They got to have the ink, right? The facility will feature advanced technological solutions in the chemistry and production fields, and it will meet high quality control standards. Um, you know, we intend to complete the facility building, you know, through the first half, probably towards the second or through the second quarter of 2017. Um, I mean, you're well familiar with our model. It's a razor, razor blade, business model, and we have, we have to make sure that we can supply the ink demand. That sounds great, yes, uh, so it builds up the infrastructure and the supply of that, that 3D ink. You know what, actually, uh, I'm getting some kind of echo. Would you, I don't wanna cut, but. Uh, yeah, I also get some echo now. Yeah, it wasn't there before. Now it's gone. Now I'm not getting it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, put, okay, so we'll just cut that part out. Okay, and I'll go right into the next question. So I think that brings us up to date to last week's announcement that Nano has just closed a $12 million public offering. Tell us about that and uh, what that capital will be used for. That's correct. We had a public transaction led by National Securities Capital and co-managed by Lake Street Capital Markets. We had a successful roadshow and eventually we raised $12 million with a minimal discount of the last three month average. Um, no award was given. It was actually the first public offering of the company in the US. Um, while Nano Dimension share enjoys high volume on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, it was important for the company to expand its you know, American shareholders base. And we're very encouraged by the demand. Well, Amit, that, that's all the questions we have for today. Uh, this has been a great quarter for Nano so far. Is there anything else uh, investors should know right now? Well, uh, you know, Mike, some of us are celebrating the Jewish New Year. So I'd just like to congratulate and wish everyone a successful and happy New Year. Thank you. You as well, Amit. Appreciate it. Thanks again for being on the show, and we hope to catch up with you again soon. Thank you, Mike. You've been watching CEO Live TV, and we've been talking again to Mr. Amit Dror. He's the CEO and co-founder at Nano Dimension, which trades on the NASDAQ under ticker NNDM. With 56% of all worldwide 3D printing revenue projected to be driven by demand for faster and cheaper prototypes, there will be a growing need for innovative solutions like the Dragonfly 2020 3D printer. And with global 3D printing sales predicted to reach $35 billion by 2020, Nano's patented 3D printing technology seems well positioned to grab market share and build value for shareholders. To learn more about them, please visit their website at www.nano-di.com. And thank you for watching CEO Live TV.